All right, here we go. The review that everybody's been waiting for. Hellcat Honda, Hellcat Honda. Obviously, Honda key, obviously, Hellcat key. So let's give it a start real quick. Oh yeah. If you haven't followed my Snapchat, go follow that. If you haven't followed the Instagram, follow that. Now, I'm gonna be all the way honest. This isn't a review that I really planned on doing or ever really wanted to do, but I'm gonna do it anyway for shits and giggles. <laughs> so here we go. Taking the Honda today. Bye bye Hellcat. So here we are everybody in the Honda. As you can see, nothing too special, nothing too crazy. Got the camera bag, seats, you know. It is what it is, it's a Honda. Got the windows tinted, you know. I keep it clean. People ask me all the time in my Honda, can you fit? Can you fit in your Honda? Or the funny part was before I got my Hellcat, I hopped in my Honda, people would literally watch me get in my car and be like, wow, he fit. Well, my legs straight up, look at my knees. I mean, I'm cool, but if I put this one down here between the brake and the footrest, I'm good to go. This one right here, you know, it is what it is. It's going to be a little straggler. Now, this is where the Honda really excels. Look at my fucking headroom. I'm 6'10". Now, obviously, you can see I got hella headroom. 6'10 in the Honda, and I got hella headroom. Yes, I fit. So, to all my subscribers out there, if you're 6'10 and shorter, or you could probably even be over 6'10, headrooms wise and still fit in here. Leg room, I mean, I'm cool, I'm decent, like, yeah. So if you want a Honda and you're tall as fuck and you're wondering if you can do it, here you go, here's your answer, you can do it. I'm gonna be all the way honest before I pull off here. This review is funny as fuck because I didn't think nobody would wanna see a Honda review. I know it's sure as fuck I didn't wanna see it before I got my Hellcat, I, didn't want, I ain't never watched a Honda review, so. I mean, but different strokes for different folks, so here goes your Honda review, and bam, let's get it going. Now, real quick, let's talk about the interior. Here goes all the redundant buttons. Yes, I know, the shit is ugly. It's a Honda. It's not going to be nothing special. We got a little digital screen right here. The speedometer looks fly for a Honda. Don't be hating. We do have hella hidden storage room, though. I like this. I've used this a lot of times. That comes in handy. Another little cubby hole. Oh, we got the window switches and all that good shit. Auto up and auto down, Windows Dodge. Everything else is pretty much the same regular shit. You know, you got this fake ass suede right here on the armrest. You come over here, you got pretty good storage space. That's a whole hell of a lot of storage space. I've used that hella times. I've had to clean out so many times because it just piled up. Shut that. Don't worry about that. That's from resting my elbow too much right here on them road trips and then pulling up, resting it, pulling it up, and it's cheap ass leather, so that's what you get. You get what you pay for, right? Now, let's talk about these seats. The seats are cool, you know what I mean? Ain't no heavy bolster, and this is a fucking Honda Accord, so chill out. Coming over here, got the glove box, hella storage space in there, hella storage space in there. Like I said, cup holders in there. Back seats are real cool. I got my car wash and shit right here. Got my brother's honey fun fiddle biscuits. And I got my fish and tackle box. So let's move all that shit and talk about these back seats. Now, real quick, before I get in the back seats and show you all that good shit, I'm going to pop that front hood because a lot of people be wanting me to pop the hood on these whips. So I'm going to pop the hood and show you what this bitch got under the hood. But let's go ahead and give it a hop out. Let's hit this um, trunk button down here. Long. Here we go. Look at that pretty motherfucker right there. Damn. Supercharged Hemi. Ooh, you see that orange Hemi block down there? Yeah, but yep, that's all we got for y'all four son. That's all I got. Good enough. Now, let's hop in this back seat. Now, obviously, this seat is set at my setting. All the way back, all the way down, all that good shit. So, let's hop in. There we go. Easy peasy. Look at that. Comfortable as fuck, too. Now, you've seen my leg room, and you see my headroom in the front and my leg room. Now you see in the back, I'm comfortable as fuck. I'm 6'10 in the back seat of a Honda Accord. Look how practical this shit is. My, my legs are comfortable. My ass is comfortable because the seat is comfortable. My back is comfortable because the back of it is comfortable. And my headroom is cool. Now, there's one thing I'm going to touch on, and that is the storage space back here. Don't mind the party cakes. I'm of my brothers, but them bitches are fire. Is this right here. Look at that. Got the armrest cup holders right all that good shit comfortable little armrest the the leather ain't too cheap right here is this you see you got the little key you can lock it and unlock it and all that shit but bam look at that don't mind the david busters and you know all the bags and all that shit but you can put some shit right through here some wood i usually put my fishing poles through here and um when i go fishing and they kind of just lay through so that way i ain't got to take them in half and fold them and all that good shit i just throw them right there in the middle let them poke through the front and then pull them out when i'm ready and then when i'm ready to clean up my car shut it like that and bam 
Bam. That's all I got for the back seats. That's all I got for you motherfuckers. So I'm going to hop in the front, start this bitch, and we're going to pull off and get to talking about this bitch. And bam, just like that, we out of here. Ugh. Look at them fucking wheels. Woo! Ugh. Yeah. Pop up like that. Shit. It's just a struggle. Let's go. Not that bad on the hop out, but getting out that motherfucker. Woof. Now listen, quick side note here. This is not going to be your regular fucking Honda Accord boring ass car review. This is a Honda car review for shits and giggles from a Hellcat owner, bitch. Now check this out. Let's go. And just like that, we in there. I need an oil change. So my wrench light is on. So I got to hit the little boop and that goes away. So as you can see, I got 86,000 miles. 950. I didn't put a ton of miles on this motherfucker. All right, so let's pull off and get to talking about all that good shit. I gotta go pick up my little guy E, so that's where we're riding off to. All right, so taking off in the Honda. About to go get my little guy E. Now, this is about to be funny because when I pick up E, let's hear what he has to say about the Honda because <laughs> he only likes when I come to pick him up from every occasion. Doesn't matter if it's school, his friend's house, his auntie house, whatever the case may be, he wants me to pick him up all the time in the Hellcat. He, he's, he doesn't give a fuck if it's raining, snowing, drive the Hellcat. I mean, he, he knows the Honda and what we've been through with the Honda and all that good shit before we got the Hellcat, but all he ever wants to do is take the motherfucking Hellcat. No if, ands, and buts about it. Hellcat, Hellcat, Hellcat. Now, to get back to the topic of the car. This car obviously isn't a fucking Hellcat. You see me pop the hood, even though you've seen that Hemi. <laughs> This ain't a Hellcat, all right? This is a four-cylinder Honda Accord Special Edition SE abbreviation 2012. I know I said that kind of backwards, but fuck it, who cares? You get the point. This is a Honda Accord. You get what you pay for, and you pay for what you get. <laughs> so it's just like that. It's a $15,000 car. I mean, and it's good on the shit that you need to be good for. Now, I'm not going to dog my Honda. If this is what you expect, I'm not going to dog my Honda. I love my fucking Honda. It served its purpose with me, and obviously it's going to continue to serve its motherfucking purpose with me because I'm still paying on it. But like I said, it's a $15,000 car. It's practical as fuck. It's good on gas. I mean, I took this on hella road trips. I've literally drove this car from Minnesota to Connecticut, Connecticut to Florida. I've drove this car from fucking Minnesota to Texas, Texas to New Orleans, New Orleans back up to Minnesota. I went coast to coast up in this motherfucker. Now, a side note about this car is, and all those road trips that I've taken from Minnesota to Connecticut, Connecticut and back and all the mother states from coast to coast, from Minnesota to Connecticut alone, it's only about $120, $115. So round trip from Connecticut to Minnesota, I paid, I don't know, $240 in gas. That's hella cheap. Imagine if I tried doing that shit in my Hellcat. <laughs> Fuck. But now I am actually pulling up to pick up my young boy Ethan from his boxing class. So I'm gonna go in here, show you all that good shit we unboxing and shit. Then we're gonna hop back in the whip and he's gonna give you his thoughts on my Honda Accord. <laughs> my young boy. My young boy got them paws, learning them boxing skills. Ooh, 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 ooh. damn, that made, that made me poop on myself. Can you up? <laughs> Where's Oh, we drove the Honda today, champ. <laughs> I told them that you always want me to drive the Hellcat when I pick you up from anywhere, huh? Yeah. Also, let's tell them about Element Boxing, where you just got your training done, champ. It's real good. Um, you can come up in there, get a few lessons. Mm -hmm, and get right. They're good people too. All right. So we driving in the Honda, and he wants to tell you his thoughts. Obviously, I think about the Honda. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and talk to him. Man. Um, it has way. You could say way, way passed on. It's like around the world, from here all the way around the world. It has better gas. Way better gas than the Hellcat. <laughs> hey, do you smell it? Nasty! You nasty! <laughs> you funny, Jim. Well, you just poop. I mean, not poop. 
it smells like your poop. <laughs> and your poop smells worse than your farts. You said, you were like, I said, you smell it? You were like, no, I don't smell anything. I said, you don't? He said. <laughs> I'm going to name two things that I don't like about this Honda. I cannot say Hondi because it's not that fast. Hondeezy? Like the hell keezy? Hondeezy? No, it's, it's not here. It's like <laughs> snail. <laughs> it's a snail times ten. So tell me two things that you say you don't like about well, Honda. I don't like like a hooker stands out, right? That's why it costs so much. Sixty, seventy thousand dollars. Yep. A Honda costs twenty five thousand dollars. No, this one's fifteen thousand dollars though. Well below twenty five thousand dollars. So that means technically you can get about seven Hondas like this for one Hellcat like Ours. Who wants that though? Who, who, who is a Honda fan? <laughs> Nobody. There's Nobody. Honda fans out there though. Some people only love Hondas, Sham. Like how we like Dodge and Camaros and Mustangs. There's some people who only like Hondas. I know oh. some people like that. Yeah, like some people like, uh, you know, like how the Asian people. Like how they do. No, I'm not going to put that in the video. <laughs> Racist! <laughs> Racist! Racist alert! <laughs> You know, you know Asian, look, why did the hell say it though? You know how the Asian people be like in a soup and up and they put the big bumpers on there? They only have Hondas, right? Yeah. Because they want to make it fast. Yeah, but they like their Hondas though. You don't see none of them driving around in no Hellcats and stuff. They like they like Hondas. But <laughs> the, the only thing I don't like about Honda, even though I am Asian. <laughs> Is that it blends in? A Hellcat stands out. Audi R8 yeah. stands out. RS7 stands out. Bugatti stands out for sure. Yeah, definitely. This, this I stand of, out. This kind of just blends in. Yeah. You said I stand out. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, it does. So you don't like it because it blends in. Mm -hmm. And the Hellcat stands out. Yes. Yeah, he needs more. Oh my! God. <laughs> you trifling. <laughs> Excuse me? Alright. <laughs> but that's all I got for the video today, man. I told you about my thoughts on my Honda. Ethan told you about the thoughts of his thoughts on the Honda. That's all I got for y'all today, man. And is that all you got, man? Yep. That's all you got, man. It's just showing that good. Ooh, the big old Nerf gun. You ain't never seen no Nerf gun like that in your life. Welcome, Mercedes. Well, I'm gonna ask Murphy. Look, And I'll call Maserati get there. The white one and the Maserati. I got a Porsche right in front of us. That's one. not in front of us. That's in front of us on the left. Yeah, one to the left. Mm -hmm. Look. Oh. 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 There you go, there you go. Oh, clip, clip, clip. Drop that clip on him, aren't you? Yep. Hit him, hit him with one of them bullets real quick. Get that camera with the bullets. Show him the precise thing. I got a magic trick. It's empty, right? Oh yeah, one in the clip, huh? <laughs> hit him with one of the bullets, show him that aim. He hit, hit, hit right there, bam, right on the lens. Show him that precision that you got with that aim. That was close though. Oh, that was on the money. <laughs> but that's all we got for y'all today, man. And just like that, we out. Right, champ? <laughs>